What's happening, everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. I'm taking a little step back from coding in this video to talk about digital tip jars, either for your clients to build on their websites and or for yourself if you're creating digital content online. I wanna take a look at three popular tools and really one that is more known for taking payments but not necessarily using for a tip jar. So we're gonna focus on three of them today. Buy me a coffee, ConvertKit and Stripe itself. We'll go over how they work and also the backend costs involved so you're aware of what they are, how they work, and the costs either for you and or your client. And with that, let's get started. All right, so the first one we're gonna take a look at is Buy Me A Coffee. This one, of course, as Buy Me A Coffee says, is loved by over one million creators. And it's one of the easiest to use that I really recommend people using. But the problem is that it does take a super big cut of your profits. What they don't really show inside of here is yes, you can set up buy me a coffee simply as clicking one, two, and three dollars. But if we go to the frequently asked questions, it is a 5% charge. So as they do say, we do take a 5% transaction fee. Now this is on top of Stripe's transaction fee at three or 2.9%. I'm gonna go to Stripe for a second. And how it works with Buy Me A Coffee is when you connect to your account, they use Stripe. So they say, we transfer funds directly to your Stripe account every Wednesday. So Stripe itself takes a 2.9% fee for their transaction fee. And then Buy Me A Coffee takes a 5% transaction fee. That being said, they do provide a lot of tools in which to do tipping. It'll also say maybe not just buy me a coffee, but buy me a pizza and different tools you can use along with selling products. They have an iOS and Android app. They really have a lot of tools for creators to sell their products with. You can also create memberships as well to create even deeper lists or different features to sell to your audience and different ways to shop, including to sell PDF books and so forth and so forth. I like buy me a coffee, but I find that that 5% on top of 2.9% is cutting into my fees quite a bit. It might not sound like a lot, but when you're talking about $100 of transactions, that's nearly eight or $9 that's not going into your pocket. And so while I do like buy me a coffee, I think there are better options. And one option is ConvertKit. There's a few reasons why I like using ConvertKit. One, you can already have your email list built into your payment processor, meaning when someone buys something ConvertKit, you can send them a series of follow-up emails on a sequence that's already built into ConvertKit. And the best part about it is that the pricing is really straightforward. I like ConvertKit because you are paying a flat fee for up to so many subscribers. And if we go into this all feature list for the prices, again, I think about the back end pricing before I do anything because a lot of these companies, they're telling you it's this plus this plus this, like we saw with um, Buy Me a Coffee. And so ConvertKit's almost pretty much straightforward. So they do charge a monthly fee based upon how many emails. They do have a newsletter plan that is free, that is up to 10,000. I do recommend down the road paying for the creator plan. It just gives you a lot of tools. And my favorite thing is it takes off the branding for ConvertKit. I like ConvertKit, but I wanna keep my branding on and not their branding on. And if you scroll down on their pricing page, again, this is what I look for when I'm thinking about tip jars or any kind of monetization. When you're monetizing your content, the low transaction fee, if we look at it, is just 0.6%. Now they get 3.5% from Stripe. So if you think about the math, ooh, where'd it go? The 2.9% plus 6% is 3.5. I'm okay with that because to me, I don't mind paying a monthly fee for everything the ConvertKit does. And then on top of that fee, it allows me to monetize my content by setting up tip jars on my site and also selling products. And it also shows somewhere in here, where did it go, but I don't know where it is. Uh, you can take off their logo. So there's also that tool as well. 
So the reason why I like ConvertKit as well, so if we head into ConvertKit, we not only get the ability to earn money through products and tip tarts, which we'll go through in a second, but we also get the ability to automate with automations and rules and send sequences of emails automatically within ConvertKit. Also with ConvertKit through the grow and subscribers, I can tag my subscribers for what they've tipped and or bought within one platform. It just makes it that much easier. And that's why I like buy me a coffee, but ConvertKit goes so much further in what you're paying for. So if I want to go to earn, if I want a digital tip jar, I click this button. Yep, I don't have payment set up, which is totally fine. If I create a tip jar, I can say, buy me a pizza. In currency, I can choose a lot of different currencies. So again, New Zealand, Australian, Canadian, Euros, pounds, and US dollars. I can say next, and I can say, okay, eventually I can set this up to my domain name and buy me a pizza. I can create the tip jar just by clicking create a tip jar. Go ahead and click it. Maybe it's not working. There it goes. And in here, I can put a picture of something, maybe a pizza, and I can say, hey man, I love pizza. And it simply says, choose an amount, five, 10, 20, forward and forward. Again, I can take off this convert kit badge because I am a certain payment level, which to me is good, I like getting rid of it. So it creates a nice way to create a unique branding structure. And then I can set up my checkout screen, buy me a pizza, five bucks, your details, payment, go forth and go forth. The confirmation, you can say, thank you. Hey, check it out. And then the receipt email, you can also change if you want to, to say, thank you so much, I appreciate it. And within your rules, so if I go to automate and rules, I don't have it set up, but I can also say in here, you know, when someone buys or purchases a product, then you can add a tag. So I don't have anything set up obviously, but if I did, I could say, well, this one's for different products, but I could then say in this case, tip jar. So I can tag people in what they've done and then also market to them for future products. The same works with the earn section for products. I can, there's my amazing PDF I set up earlier. And if I say new product, I can say product, but I can also recommend people I can say a standard fixed price, or I can say, you know what? I want someone to pay at least five bucks for this PDF, but they can choose what they want to pay. Going forth, give them a digital download, upload the file, and also convert to the rules to tag someone in there. There's a lot more tools you can use within ConvertKit, especially when it comes to the tip jar in there. And again, I'm focused mostly on that price which is 3.5 or 30 cents. Now, if you just want to do a tip jar, Stripe has that as well. So Stripe, of course, is the cheapest option because you're using Stripe itself for the tip jar. And Stripe just charges the lowest price, of course, at 2.9 plus 30 cents. So if we head into Stripe, what I can do is in the payment links, I can say new and in here, I can say, you know what? I want people to then simply choose what to pay, which is best for tipping. So in here, I can say, buy me a cupcake. I've gone from pizza and coffee to cupcakes, because who does not like a cupcake? I can say, your generous donation will go towards the purchase of a vanilla or chocolate cupcake. Thank you for the support. So I can simply write a little message to someone who's using this. And this also gives me more options for different currencies. I can go through a whole slew of currencies. So if you are overseas, you can choose everything from the Icelandic Krona to the Namibian dollar, you can set your currencies whatever level you're at, and everything works in Stripe anyways. So you'd have to have a Stripe account in the first place for both ConvertKit and Buy Me a Coffee. So US dollar is fine. I could upload a picture. 
and I can say suggest a preset amount. You know what? We're going to say $5. And you cannot go below, we'll just say $1. And you can't give me more than $10,000. Sorry, that's just the rules. That's what we're going to have to do. And you can have advanced options. So if you are wanting to do a nonprofit, you could do a donate. In here to say donate, I'm going to still say pay since I'm just a for-profit YouTube channel. And I can add other fields if I want to collect information from someone. So I could say, you know what, if I want to know like your favorite, I don't know, food or your favorite cupcake, for example. So in there, I can set everything up. And then after payment, basically, hey, check it out. Thanks for the payment. We are all set to go show confirmation page or redirect someone. So if you want to send someone to a different confirmation website, like your website slash confirmation, that can also happen as well. And this is all built directly within Stripe. So while you do not get the option to kind of change this page right here for buy me a cupcake, you do get the ability to at least have the lowest fees. So if you are taking digital tips, you can keep it as low as possible. These are three tools I recommend using from the most expensive in theory to the most versatile to the most basic but the lowest price. Just when you do the basics, you get Stripe. And there's three ways to digitally accept tips online.